Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Tonight, you're going to see another straight pour with very thin paints, Amsterdam brand mixed just with water. And I'm also going to show you what I did after I made the painting. So I did a little bit of an embellishment because it just didn't quite have exactly the, the contrast and the feel that I wanted when I finished the painting. So I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that this inspires you to create beyond the original painting that you have, even if it needs just a little bit of tweaking. There is so much that you can do with fluid art and acrylic pouring and it doesn't have to stop at just the original painting. So, hope you enjoy this. Let's paint. All right, hi everyone. I wanted to do another thin paint straight pour, and you had asked to see how I layer the cup. So, I will show you that. I've got, I'm working in all metallics and black tonight so I really want this one to be striking. Now I'm not going to go with white in the center. I'm actually just going to do the rest of this leftover silver that I had and hope that it's enough to kind of make a difference. <laughs> now I'm going to use, ooh, what color do I go with next? I feel like maybe even a little bit of my black might do okay. Oh, I gotta get all that off my canvas. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pour in. What I mean by dirty pour is I'm literally just gonna pour straight down and you can see the paint just sinks to the bottom because it's very thin and the colors will start to mix together. So you do wanna have some that have contrast. I'm gonna do, I think, this. Now you can pour a little bit to the side, you can swirl it around, but I'm just really gonna go for this. Next, I'm gonna have my gold in there. You could pour a lot, a little, you could maybe drizzle on the top to get some different designs. You can kind of swirl and that will create more designs. But this one's really just gonna be kind of a, almost not monochromatic, cause it's got the other colors in there, but just a really kind of soothing, earthy, earthy toned one. I'll go with some more gold, a little more bronze, copper. Finish it off with my copper. And Whoops. <laughs> and then might as well do the rest of the gold. Ooh, I had one lump I just saw. Okay, now I can let those air dry and um, peel the paint out. So now I'm just going to literally straight pour this and see what happens. The colors might be a little bit too similar. I'm not sure yet. Might just be brown. Hope not. Hope my... I didn't really do a straight pour either, did I? <laughs> didn't really do a straight pour, did I? Now, I don't know if I want that. Maybe I'll just swirl that in the center. And then I'll pour a little bit of black around it just to help it flow. I definitely should have enough though. And then I'll see, I know that there's a clump somewhere in here. I'll have to figure out where it is. But I'm just gonna, the paint is very liquid. Oh, I think I see it already. Did I lose it? Nope, there it is. Gotcha. <laughs> but that's actually kind of cool. I don't know, maybe do I wreck this a little bit? Okay, I don't know where that thought process came from, but we'll see. <laughs> so now I'm just going to slowly work my way to my edges without pouring it off. 
I just really love how soft these colors come out. And I might go back in and add a little bit of that black negative space, I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'm letting it, I had way too much paint, but it was my leftovers. This is really pretty too. This is very organic feeling. That's what I like about this. It's just really soft, smooth, flowing colors. But I do, I kind of like this. So I don't know, I may, hmm. Oh, you may get mad at me for fiddling, but. Okay, I'm gonna take it over there. I'm gonna have to scrape my table and add to my brown collection. Okay, so I've got that, but now let me see. I have a couple of lumps, so let me get those out. I'm glad that I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to scrape my table for this brown. Okay, I got that one out. That's the great thing about this, is it doesn't matter. My silver is really pretty. It's very faint throughout here. I don't know, what do you think? Should I add, I feel like, I don't know. It's just, it's just me. Let me just see. Maybe I just add just a little bit on this corner. I don't know, because I really liked that corner and just tilt it there. And then maybe just the other corner, like maybe right through here, or maybe just like a tiny little bit right here. I don't even have to Pick it up, I can just tilt like that, tilt it back, and then maybe just this one section right here. I don't know, I'm winging it. <laughs> Let me spill. Oh, there's a really cool cell reaction happening in this black now. Okay, let me turn it. Woo! This way and I'm just gonna tilt over and off. Let me bring it back this way. Are you screaming that I need to stop yet? My hands are so dirty. Because I feel like... I feel like this corner, I don't. Maybe just right there. Yes. I really like that. Stretch that cell reaction back out right there. What do you think? I think it's really pretty. Very different, very soft. This would go good in like a neutrals home. I just have one more little piece of something. When the paints are very thin, you gotta get those out. I like this little cell reaction that's happening. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave this be. I think it's done. I'm gonna show you. Okay, this is what I was talking about when you're pouring colors over 
that thin black base again. And it's happening on that corner and on the side too, it's really cool. But this one is just kind of a very organic feel too. And I forgot to do the straight pour. <laughs> I just literally dumped it on there. But it's basically a dirty pour into the cup and a dirty pour onto the canvas. But I really like the negative space there. Okay, so when I had finished the piece originally, I just felt like there were some beautiful parts to it, but that it just needed something, I don't know, just like a little bit more. And so I went in with my Posk pens and my, look at that, that is gorgeous. And my Arteza pens, and I just, followed the organic lines that were already there. And I really like it. I think it gave it kind of the dimension I was looking for. Really, really cool. All right, well, let me know what you think. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.